Hey guys, it's Roth the Golem, and welcome to File. Again, like every Sunday, this is a game that I found on itch.io, and I believe Markiplier has already played this, uh, but I ha haven't actually watched that video yet, so I really don't have much of an idea of what to expect from this game. Um, I do know that based on the description of the game on itch itself, that we play as a woman named Raven, who just has like an ordinary life, there's nothing really special about her, but she does come across a series of computer programs, or files, if you will, that are almost haunting her and become, what the heck is wrong with my computer? I'm sorry, and become progressively more and more terrifying as she goes through. So, uh, I'm assuming play with me is to play the game, and yeah, don't play is to close. Obviously, we want to know what's happening with this game, so let us play. Start user search, yes. Success, Raven Home, yes. Access this user. What is going on? Run login.exe. Huh. Run file.exe. Okay. Use the mouse to interact with your environment. Watch carefully for chances for the cursor's appearance. All right. So here we are playing as Raven. Like, I'm actually looking at myself on the, the webcam, it seems. Can I turn this off? I can't do anything with that. Okay. So notes. Anything special in here? Things to remember. Buy more coffee. Need more coffee. Fair enough. Email the, uh, Lenora back, call mom and dad, finish my video game reviews, pay the rent due Wednesday, and pay phone... That looks like kill, but it's bill, due next week. Um, curious to see what day it is, because the fact that it's due Wednesday, I'm, I want to know. Uh, let's see, new email. Uh, one new email. Uh, welcome back home, sis, from unknown sender. I imagine it's got... Oh, wait, hold on. Lenore. Email Lenore back. Okay, so we she apparently has already read this email, or at least that's what I'm guessing. But anyway, welcome back home, sis. I hope your trip was all you wanted and more. I heard that the food is really good. Not like the food here at home. Mother is still burning everything. Uh, she, every, every, uh, excuse me. Uh, mother is still burning everything she can, and you know how dad is. Anyway, I just wanted to send you an email to see how you were, how you were going. See how we're going. Anyway. Uh, and how the trip was. I am planning a road trip soon, so if I head your way, maybe I can crash at yours for a little while. It would be nice to catch up face-to-face. -face. Better get back to work. Love you, sis, Lenore. Uh, how sweet. You're just mooching off of my good nature. What's on here? Chat program, eh? I assume I probably gotta click on that. About me. If you really want to know about me, then ask. I hope everyone is having a good night. Triple X's. Those are the kisses, I think. I uh, just finished working. I'm exhausted. Friends online. We've got four friends, but let's see what this bad boy is. Play with me? No, I don't want to play with you. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I'm apparently going to play with them anyway. All right, so left and right. And that's it. Through the door. Oh, hello, little girl with your head down. I like it here. You know what? I like it here, too. Look at that, look at that castle in the background. That's a nice castle. And now we're out to a little mountainous field, which is turning browner. Oh, slightly less nice looking. One time I saw a squirrel. Well, I've seen many squirrels, but congratulations. If that is the highlight of your day, then go for it. All right, we're going from yellow back to green now through all these doors. Little dude, how did I get here? Well, if you're like me, you probably walked. So there's that. Ooh, I can jump now. Huh, sounds very Mario-esque. Yay, I made it. Don't want to fall in the pit, because as we know from the original Mario, that's death. And now it's a snowy field? Snowy flat field? Hello, kitty. Mew. Isn't that sweet? I wonder if I'll come across a puppy next. Close the window to continue. That's very strange for a game, wouldn't you think? Closing the window to continue the game? Huh. I... That definitely looked like it was like a dead version of, uh, of Em- Was it Emily? I forget what her name is already. Got Raven, that's what it was. Um, yeah, that was weird. Okay. Uh, let's see, we can't do anything out- Oh, wait, am I recording now? It was red before, but now it's green. No idea what that means. Whoa, that's weird. Why is it that every time we curse her over that picture, it turns to, like, a death dead person? Or, like, how could you? How could I what? Let's find out by clicking on this icon, shall we? Wait, did... Oh, that's kind of cool. Raven's eyes were looking around as I was clicking on that little box. This one has two question marks. Oh, look! Creepy shadow people are walking toward me from afar. How sweet. 
They want to say hi. And now they're, oh, now the creepy shadow people are dismantling the castle. This little girl's gonna be scad. Scad, yeah, of course she's gonna be scad. Who wouldn't be scad if their castle was being dismantled? Uh, the trees here are a bit scary. Are you trying to tell me that those people are trees? Because I don't see any trees. Oh, look, it looks like, from what I can tell, he's got, like, a piece of castle under his arm with one arm, and his other arm is, like, looking back in this direction toward the other one, like, shielding his eyes from the sun. You know, the non-existent sun. That was weird. I wonder if the game is supposed to tweak like that, or if it's just my, my computer, I don't know. The squirrel was scared. Oh, well, probably because he wasn't used to you. Huh. So, creepy shadow person with a bonfire in the background, and... Dragon Dinosaur Skull? Can't jump, so that's weird. All right then. And up next should be the kitty. Oh no, the, the, the slick haired dude. Seriously, how did I get here? I'm still gonna venture a guess and say you walked. Can I jump? Yes, I can. Look at that. Ooh, pick up much. Ooh, I almost didn't make that. That pick up bigger though from the looks of it. And now back to the snowy tundra. So I think the kitty is next. Yes, hello kitty. Mew, rawr. Don't growl at me. You're not a tiger. Close the window. And now my face cracked and I was, you know, crying tears, because as we all know, that's normal. The tree is gone. So I can look over there next, apparently. Why not? Let's do it. Huh. Oh yeah, that's normal. Because, yes, ex the very thing that I want to do is to look out the window, see that, and then proceed to go looking around for other things. Because I'm not totally going to shit myself and then run, run out the door. Ah, three question marks now. Why not? And the creepy shadow people are even closer. I wonder if I'm going to have to like run away from them at some point. Like, could they be down here on this plane with me and I have to keep evading them? More of the castle's gone. I don't regret what I did. What did you do? Did you get rid of the trees? Is that what we're going for? I'm confused. Oh, look, there's notes we got to read too. You know what? Hang on. Let me... Simple, right? Keep playing the game and I will tell you a bit about myself. I can't see the rest of it. Uh, once we, you know, once we finish this portion of the game, I'm going to go and, you know, reopen all this stuff. Uh, I wasn't going to hurt it. Are you sure? Uh, it seems like you were going to. Oh, and now there's a creepy shadow person in the skull. Is it going to grab me? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, look at the skull was actually a little further away from the door this time, too. All right, slick haired guy, what you got? What's going on? I don't know. I wish you could tell me, actually, because I really have no idea. Oh, that pit is much wider now. And the bonfire is still going. Ooh, I made it. And, oh, so close. I almost missed that one. And, oh, the snow cap mountain is now turning into a volcano? So is this then ash and not snow, like I initially thought? Meow. Very loud meow. I'm not going to yell it, though. Close the window. Let's see what's going to happen to Raven's face now. All right. Lots of, uh, sharp gnashing teeth with, um, skin connected between them. See, where do I start? I have been around a long time, not sure how long. Uh, when did you creatures start being able to walk? Around then, I think. Huh. Interesting. Wonder who that's supposed to be, then. Uh, cannot connect to chat, even th Which is weird, I can't connect to the chat, but I still have, you know, I can see that I have four friends online. It's weird. New email. Uh, another one from Lenore. Oh, look, we can actually see her email this time. Uh, hey, sis, I haven't heard back from you. I hope you are okay. My plans for my trip are going surprisingly well. It seems like everything is aligning just right. I'm meeting up with a few travel advisors today to set up my stop locations and stuff. I am super excited to see you again. I don't recall agreeing to seeing you, but hey, why not? Let's go with it. Mom and Dad have been fighting again in itself is nothing new, but I thought you should be up to date uh, with this stuff. We are a family after all. Happy face. I was hoping we could see them together for the holidays. I know they'll miss you. We all miss you. Anyway, I have to go see these people. Love you, sis. Lenore. Oh, how sweet. Um, what now? Nothing? Nothing? Uh, I gotta look for the little glasses things. Nothing yet. Uh, huh. This is weird. If I go back into the chat now. Oh! Didn't know I could do that. I, that was not at all what I was intending to do, but, okay, that kind of reminds me of, like, the, I don't want was it the ring? 
I think it might have been The Ring. I don't remember, but there was a, a horror movie where like they would scratch off the faces of people in pictures. All right, let's see what this this uh, chapter of the game brings us. Nothing. It didn't do anything. It's weird. How about when I close it? Oh, there it is. That's right. I gotta click on those things. Oh, they are very close now. All right then. The music is actually the creepiest part of this game, to be honest with you. They will never find them. The trees or other people? Whoa, what is going on here? So we've got a little bonfire with the shadow guy, and it's like... I... I think those are skulls there, and that might be, like, a bloody body. Maybe those are graves, and I have no idea. Tinier shadow people, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, ooh, what is going on here? Kind of looks like the headless horseman with also the swordless hilt. I don't know. Um, squirrel, 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 squirrel. Okay. You're not creepy at all, dude, are you? All right, so the dragon head is still there. I'm going to keep calling it a dragon head, even though it's probably a dinosaur. Now there's a little tree on that mountain. Slick haired dude, what you got? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round, round and round, round, help and round, round and round, round and round. Huh, well, at least he had enough presence of mind to ask for help. Oh, God. Can I make this jump? Oh, he's hanging himself over the bonfire. How sweet. And I died. I got this. Look, look at that. Look at those, those amazing platforming skills. And the volcano is finally erupting. Yay. I, how much would I bet one of these screens I'm going to come and it's going to be, like, covered in lava? And now the cat is saying nothing. Apparently he exhausted himself with that massive meow. And no eyes with bloody tears. Fantastic. What do you have to say now? I suppose you want to know my name. Truth is, I have so many names and yet can't recall a single one. For now, you can call me File. All right. Why not? Let's call you File, because we can. Anything in the chat? Morse code. Is this going to be important? Because honestly, the only thing I really know in Morse code is SOS, which is three short, three long, three short. Um... Okay, then. Well. Huh. And my email box just shot out a game. Okay, then. Ooh, it's red this time. Is there going to be lots of death and stuff? Huh. So, based on this, because of, you know, perspective, or force perspective, rather, these guys are really freaking big. Because this guy back here is about the same size as me right now. And based on the way this is drawn, he's supposed to be back on this hill, like, coming down. This guy looks like he might be coming up the, this portion of the hill. So, if this guy is the same size as me, and this guy is, like, you know, maybe 10 or 20% bigger, then he's going to be, like, probably up to here by the time he gets up to me. That is, if any, I don't get attacked in the meantime. Huh. They've built four small houses? You know, if you sell those in Monopoly, you can actually get a hotel. Uh, I did it. I killed them both. They were singing in their tears. Huh. Was it the trees? Did you kill both of the trees? What did you... I don't know. Something. Um, that kind of looks like a bird bath. And candles with an offering to the bird gods. And maybe gravestones, it looks like? I can't tell. Oh, hello. So, is this like the Burning Man? Or the Wicker Man, if you play WoW? Oh, he looks bloody. Delicious. He was eating squirrels, wasn't he? Oh, you creepy bastard. Repent. I don't think I want to. Or maybe you guys should, because look at you. You've got blood all over the place, and you've left entrails behind. How dare you regret. Oh, my. Great. So the virtual world is falling around, all, uh, falling apart all around us. Oh, that's pleasant. That is just mo so enjoyable to look at right now. That's not creepy at all. Rawr, or ah, it hurts. Well, you should probably go to the dentist, good sir. And the eye doctor afterwards. Remember, remember what? Am I supposed to remember that it hurts? Um, that's like a skeleton and one little creepy guy. And it looks like another guy in the fire. No, actually, no, I think it's just the fire. And now we've got a cross on the hill. Okay. So the imagery in this game is just becoming UFO. You know, not gonna lie, with everything that's been going on in this game thus up to this point, the UFO seems really kind of out of place. I don't know how to feel about it. I really don't. 
just want to check the notes real quick. Okay, no, we did read that note. All right, I want to make sure I wasn't missing anything. And I don't remember seeing that, but at least the world's kind of back to normal now. Looks almost like a start of a tower. Well, now we're kind of in the city. This is weird. Okay. Huh. So we've made it from... And now she was old with like a stitched on smiley face and red eyes. Okay. Uh, don't mind the little clicking sound in the background. That's just Kira's feeder uh, dishing out food for her. All right, hmm, let's see. I am not sure what else to say. Hmm, oh, I know. How about I tell you a bit about you? Okay. Your name is Raven. You were recently on a holiday that you didn't quite want to go on out. Jesus, this font is really terrible. Hey, when you have a choice to go somewhere new, you take it, right? Who knows what could happen? You have a sister named uh, Lenore. She's very beautiful. You left her a long time ago to suffer the domestic mediocrity that was your family home. You have no pets, no boyfriend, no car, no real job, which begs the question what her actual job is. You spend way too much time on your computer. Oh, and you left your curtains open. Um, that's a lie. I don't have curtains. Suck it, bitch. Suck it long. And suck it hard. What now? All right. Nothing to view. Back to the Morse code thing. I wonder if that'll come into play later. Emails. No emails. Ooh, turning off the monitor. Uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh, <laughs> you didn't say the magic word. Let's can turn it back on. All right, but let's click the box because we know that that's what's supposed to happen. Oh, no, wait. Now, if we turn it back on, it'll be there. Six. So instead of question marks, we have six. Okay. Oh, boy. Hard hat area. Okay. And we have the creepy shadow person coming toward us from the outside. Ah, oh, the music is just very, very disturbing. Okay, so now we're back out here. And the little houses have... See, I told you, if you sell your houses, you could buy a hotel. And then buy more houses, apparently. Don't you get it? They had to go. I bet they did. Um, dog dish. That's what I'm going for. Uh, food in a dog dish. Oh, God. Um, well, this area has definitely changed. We've got pieces of body with maybe they were hanging up here, help scrawled on the wall, and now this guy is like half human, half grim reaper. And we're looking at binary now. Okay. Um, yeah, that actually is binary because it's eight digits, I believe, in each... Uh, string of code. Ooh, skull on the floor. Huh, kind of looks like uh, Jason Voorhees if he was an elf. Why? I don't know. But hey, at least we can jump. Can we jump up here to find out? No, we cannot. I bet I gotta dodge that, though. That looks like death. So just on the safe side, let's jump over it. And back to the smiley face. I want to go home. Well, I would say I'd like to go home as well, but both I and Raven are already home, so we don't have to worry about that. I can see you. I can see me too. And you're lying because my uh, my can my webcam's not on right now. You can't see Jack. Oh, maybe you can because that might be you right there. Oh, how pleasant are you? Can't jump into your mouth though, which is what I was trying for. And I was right. The ground is covered in lava. <laughs> the floor is lava. Um. Ooh, almost missed that one. So what do we have going on here? This is uh, kind of an interesting scene. Almost looks like a guy with a you know flaming pumpkin for a head. Tentacle monster coming out of a moat behind the base under the base of a tower. Uh, hello, Raven. Hello, random wall. How are you? Let's go back into my warehouse where I'm safe. And what's her face now? Oh. Huh. So that changed permanently. Eh, it's no, I, I want to say that's my sister. It's no longer my sister if it is her. And it's now some creepy dude. You know, I have a feeling that this would never happen. Uh, ooh, that says hi now. Uh, you, are, you, are really, ugh, you really are enjoying the game, aren't you? I won't ruin the game for you. There's nothing worse than someone telling you about the secrets. I know you like horror and thriller movies. I can tell by your DVD shelf in the lounge room. Have you been in my house... I didn't invite you into my house file. How dare you? And new email. Ooh. Game. Play. Don't stop. Play. Lenore. File, file, file. 57E. 57E file. 
Crap ton of, ooh, oh, Morse code. Okay, give me one second. I gotta, I gotta work this out here real quick. All right, so that took me a couple minutes to work out, but based on the Morse code chart here, the message that you find inside of the email basically says, you can't save her or yourself. So the question then becomes, are they talking about me and Raven? Are they talking about Raven and her sister Lenore? I'm going to venture a guess and say that it's supposed to be Lenore because that's, you know, who was included in the email. Although it would be kind of like, I, I guess you could say existential for it to be, you know, the game talking to me as well as to Raven. So that would be kind of cool. But you know what? Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Um, nothing with a new picture. Nothing outside. Shutting it off won't do any good. So. Huh. So we got to figure out how to trigger the next portion of the the game. But I don't see how to do that. Hmm. He did say about the... Nope, the blinds are fine. Can't see anything outside. Uh, how about if I pause? Nope, that literally just pauses the game. Okay, let's resume. Huh. Nothing to look at. I love the fact that the icon is actually a little raven. That's pretty cool. And they gave it little, like, highlights on the wings so that if you're over anything black, you can actually see what it is. Huh. And that's the thing. Like, I wa I'm wondering if the email is trying to send me a message as a player, basically being like, you, you can't stop whatever's happening from happening. Like, this is what it's going to be. Like, there's nothing you can do. Uh, huh. Strange. Maybe something in the the note? Nope. Something in the Morse code? Nope. Nothing. How about the email again? Huh. All right. Well, give me a sec and I'll see if I can figure this out. Okay, so this was kind of random. It actually is just this piece of wall right here. Absolutely nothing special about it, but hey, let's click on it and see what happens. Oh, look books not at all like our dvd collection that is apparently lacking okay now we found our next portion of the game number seven. Oh boy and it's all brick and death look at the look at that blood seeping through the, the cracks i wonder if the martyr was that of bodies do you see it yet oh i've seen many things madam i've seen it all probably more than yourself uh, oh, look at the moonlight shining in. Oh, God. Okay, well, at least we apparently have unlimited lives. Because I didn't realize you could hit the roof like that. Alright, Grim Reaper. Squirrel Eater. Um. Huh. Is that Braille? Because I can't see what he's saying. I have no idea. Uh, okay, let's continue on as I miss the platform. Let's try that again. Okay. Ah, God damn it. It seems like every time I land on the damn thing and it goes to move, it actually knocks me back a little bit. Okay. Ooh, he's got, like, f tentacles. Raven, stop. Okay. What should I do if you want me to stop? Is my life in danger? What is happening? Uh, come on. Just want to get to other platform, please. Come on. Why wouldn't it let me go pat? Oh, it literally is having me stop. Huh. All right, you know what? Let's, uh, let me see if I can drop down on him. No. Can I jump into that box? Nope. Weird. So it won't let me walk off the platform, but I also can't jump off the platform. That is weird. Okay, I can jump off of it, but I gotta just time it really, really well. Because this isn't really, like, helping me. There we go. Ooh, that's a big pipe. Oh, that was stupid. Jumped way too early on that one. I was surprised. I thought something might actually, like, pop out of there at me. But no such luck, it seems. Now, see, all these maps are different, too, so I have no... Oh, jeez. I have no idea when, like, the last portion of this is going to come up. Like, when is it going to be... Lenore? Huh. Weird. It's like the one happy, shiny thing in all of this. And a bat or a moth flying between the two red lights? I can't tell. Uh, can I just, oh, I can, but 
I just kind of slipped off. There we go. I gotta wait for the platform to come back down. Uh, I didn't realize it moved into like a, a infinite infinite pattern or a figure eight, if you will. Depends on your point of view, I guess. Close the window. How does uh, Raven look now? Oh, huh. that one was actually kind of cute. I liked it. Hi, Raven. Isn't it strange? Repeated over and over. Isn't it strange? In red at the very bottom. It is very strange. Oh, hello. Are you the file? I think you might be. And um, you've definitely taken over my chat program. I don't appreciate that at all. Oh, is this another Morse code thing? Actually, hold on. I got, I got my, uh, my little reference sheet here. See if this is the same or not. Uh, no, this one. Actually, no, this, this is the same. Okay, yeah, it's the same thing. Great, so now we get to look around again for the obscure thing that will transfer to us to the next portion of the game that this creature is playing with us. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I just wanted to live out my life being a bum on my computer with my mediocre job, my mediocre life, and escaping all of the, the cruelness of my life at home with my folks. Because apparently that's just the way life works. Pausing does nothing. Okay. Huh. Maybe if I click on you. I didn't really look around on this at all. Oh, you know what? I bet it's in the note. But it's the red part of the note. I was wrong. I was very wrong. Okay. I was kind of hoping it would be something that I could click in here. Doesn't seem to be, though. All right. So more searching. Here we go. Okay, this time, this was a little, uh, it wasn't necessarily easier, but I found this one a little bit faster than last time. It's actually here. It's uh, the hole in the tree there, and rather than actually clicking on anything, it brings, like, the game icon up almost instantaneously. All right, number eight. I wonder how many of these things there are. Whoa. Okay. So we've got some creepy-looking guys here. One of them's got his heart exposed, and they're just freaking gigantic. Can't jump up to the heart, though. Oh, Happy tree. Look, the trees are back. She didn't kill them all after all. And look at how happy they are. Raven, Raven, don't you see? I do see. This is, looks like where Jack Septic Eye was created. This is him before he went septic. Oh boy, don't you see with the gigantic eyeball just staring at you. That's new. Oh, is that my sister? It actually looks like the, the girl in the portrait. Or what was in the portrait. Now it's that creepy dude. Now she's surrounded by creepy people. Oh, I can't talk to her. She's got nothing to say. Raven, Raven, come to me. Oh, it's like a little rhyme. I see it now. Oh, look at this. A very smartly dressed skyscraper there in the background. Ooh. She never loved you. Eee. You failed her. Um, kind of looks like that should say, like, actually, I don't know what that says. Weird. Oh, that might be why, because it's not necessarily in English, because that certainly is not English that I'm looking at right there. And back to more words of a, a letters spelling out Lenore. And look at Lenore. She's very creepy looking. She's missing an eye, too, it seems. And even the sky is bleeding because of her. I also can't tell if she's, like, bound and gagged, like that, if that's, like, a, uh, you know, a piece of cloth across her mouth, or if that's just a really creepy, like, Jeff the Killer type smile. That's, that's disturbing. Raven, Raven, play the game. Uh, bunch of question marks. All right, this is normal. Raven, Raven, she's not the same. Oh, dear. Okay, she is uh, stuck up to a tree, missing her eye, and I can't see anything else bleeding. So those streaks of blood are all coming from her eye socket. I'm walking a little slower. Huh, let's, let's save our game, because everyone knows that's what that icon means. Oh, jeez. Okay, dearest Raven, I suppose a congratulations is in order. You finished the game. You, I'm impressed you made it this far. Lenore had trouble convincing me that you were worth the trouble. Really? Did you see the signs? Were you paying attention? Can you understand the game? Lenore, she was strong, so strong, not physically, obviously, but mentally. I remember when I pulled her... Oh, Jesus Christ. I remember when I pulled her eye out, she was barely even screamed. To be fair, she was exhausted from screaming out for you. 
She wanted to see you again. Before you call me a monster, you should know that it wasn't easy for me either. It's hard to keep someone conscious enough to talk while you cut into them. Dear God. Lenore was alone. She died alone. As did the little girl, the man in the suit, and the lumberjack. They all received the game too. You were the first one to complete it. Now if you'll excuse me, I have some matters to attend to. Here's a little gift from me to you. Lovefile.exe Oh, I don't want to click on you. I don't want any gifts. You've already given me enough, good sir. Oh, what is it? Is it Lenore? Oh no, it's... Oh, it's the little girl, the lumberjack, the other thing. Oh. That looks like... Is that the sister? Or was that supposed to be Lenore, uh, Lenore or was that Raven? Either way, I mean, that that's pretty creepy. Wow. All right. Um, huh. So the game is... Uh, that, that is the game. That is file. Holy Christ. Uh, that is really disturbing. Like, in all honesty, I feel like anyone that would actually be met with a situation like that where almost like a sentient computer program is not only screwing with you on your computer but is also responsible for the death of multiple people, including your own sister, and then is essentially hinting at the idea of you being the next person that they're going to kill. The creepypasta community. Oh, so this was based on a creepypasta, I'm guessing. I'm going to have to go back and read that now, just because. But, uh, yeah, so that is file, guys. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. I actually had a pretty good time. Uh, the audio was a little loud one but it was also very disturbing and that really added to the creepiness of everything like the game itself the illustrations and whatnot were creepy for sure but the audio definitely is what made this game exciting and worth playing but that's going to do it for files so thank you all very much for watching if you like what you've seen and heard please be sure to like comment and subscribe and having said all that i will see you all on the other side take care